Hello, everybody. Welcome inside the huddle here at the House of Blues. I'm Guy Rawlings from CBS 11 Sports. We usually have current players for the show, but tonight, since the Dallas Cowboys are holding their annual Christmas party, we have a Legends edition, Greg Ellis and Chad Hennings, and you guys have to be proud about the way the Cowboys are playing right now, 9-4. and four. Yeah, I really am. Um, I, when you look at them defensively, they're impressive. They stepped up and did what people thought they couldn't do. Um, Tony's hanging in there with his back, and I think the most impressive thing about it is that they're running the football this year. You know, what's impressive, too, is it, they really have that blue-collar work ethic, and that's what's awesome. Getting that 8-8 eight and eight monkey off their back, I'm talking playoffs now. Let's talk playoffs, Greg. Let's talk we? it. That sounds good to me. We will talk much more about this coming up later right here on Inside the Huddle at the House of Blues. Inside the Huddle, presented by Sports Media Incorporated. Inside the Huddle is filmed live on location at the House of Blues in downtown Dallas. Let's go, 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 go. Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle. Presented by Sports Media Incorporated. The Marketing Pros. Welcome to the 23rd season of Inside the Huddle here at the House of Blue. The show's had some great hosts over the year, talking about Emmett Smith, Darren Woodson, Daryl Johnson, Jason Witten, Tony Romo, and this guy here at the end of the road, Chad Hennings. He's been a, an alumnus of the show, and thanks so much for joining us tonight. Also, Greg Ellis here with us tonight, the Cowboys defense representing uh, over the years, and actually representing this season, too. They had an historically bad season defensively last year. Yeah. So coming into this season, people really didn't think they were going to be all that good. Yeah. But they're doing all right. They're holding their own. There are. They, they're doing pretty good. Um, unfortunately, when you look at them, though, if they have to stay out there too long, if the offense isn't controlling the game, if they're winning that time of possession and Dallas defense still struggles. So a large part of them being successful, in my opinion, and, and the stats show it too, is that when they're able to control the game and run the ball really effective, that's when their defense plays better. Let's talk about the last couple of games, uh, going back to that Philly game on Thanksgiving Day, and that was kind of rough, obviously. They didn't have a whole lot of time to prepare for that Correct. game. And frankly, it showed. Well, um, when we played, we would take a week uh, before the Thanksgiving game and prepare. What was it about oh, a week, Chad? That's was back it? when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when he several, played, not when I several played. Several eons He's older ago. than me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a Neanderthal uh, cro yeah, 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 yeah. I'm but a no, knuckle dragger. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> yeah. We would we would. I remember us taking time. Do you remember when that week used to be? It was before we even got there, and they would say, okay, this is going to be for when we play the Thanksgiving game. I, I, maybe it was in the preseason or something. See, yeah. you can't remember this no, stuff. I get, uh, Been hit played the head a long too time. many times over 19 years of playing <laughs> football. But, but you know, it, it's an attitude. And I think it's, it's preparation, as Greg alluded to in the offseason. It's preparation coming through the preseason, knowing that it, it's going to be a grind. Yeah. They knew they were going to have to make the trip to London. That's they right. knew they were going to have the short week coming back. And, and um, live with it. That's yeah. life. The, 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 I, go ahead. But, uh, but you know, I do, I do, I, I, hopefully that game was an anomaly. You know, they got mm -hmm. 10 days now to prepare for, for Philly mm -hmm. once again, but, you know, no excuses. They were looking at film, I'm sure, on Philly on the way home from London, yeah. you know, evaluating, getting prepared. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just knowing that, hey, it's going to be tough, but, hey, we're paid professionals. Let's suck it up and play. Yeah. It, and it had a nice bounce back in Chicago. In Chicago. In Chicago. I, I think when you look at – the uh, New York, I mean, the Philadelphia game, you do have to credit to say, okay, they, they going up to New York playing a, a, night, a night game up there. They got back 5 o'clock in the morning probably, and then they have to turn around and play a pretty early game, which is Thanksgiving Day. So it was a short turnaround time. And sometimes the, 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 your physical body just won't allow you to do it. And when you look at the film of them playing against New York, that, that Sunday night game, compared to them playing that Thanksgiving game, it was a total different team, if you ask me. Well, a good start here. We're going to finish strong on this show, but we got plenty more to come. <laughs> so stick around. Inside the Huddle continues from the House of Blues. Most doctors, lawyers, and insurance companies will tell you to get checked out by a healthcare professional immediately after an auto accident. That's why if you've been injured, the first call you need to make is to Accident and Injury Chiropractic. 
Their gentle, caring team of professionals will take care of you, your pain, and your injuries. They've been helping me, my friends, my family, and thousands more for 23 years. Call them now at 214-946-PAIN or 817-461-PAIN. Imagine not hearing your most cherished moments of life. Yet for many, this ability is lost or diminished. To stay competitive in today's world, you need to be at the top of your game. From Lyric, the tiny invisible device, worn 24-7 for up to three months, to the new Phonak Venture, we have an option for you. If you or someone you know would like to hear life to its fullest, contact one of our trusted audiologists at dfwhearingsolutions.com. Over 30 years of experiences in this company on fixing and repairing garage doors and garage door openers. Garage doors never break Monday through Friday, eight to five. It's normally like four o'clock in the afternoon or six o'clock at night. Really what I feel is we are a customer service company. We want the customer's experience or the homeowner's experience to far exceed anything that they've ever experienced before. Experience amazing beach escapes with Apple Vacations. Mexico, the Caribbean, and more. Now is the hottest time for travel, so reserve your place in the sun before all the best flights and hotels are gone. With Apple Vacations, you can catch some rays on the world's best beaches for far less than you think. Hurry, best hotels and dates are going fast. And welcome back inside the huddle here at the House of Blues. Uh, we were talking about the team, how they're doing this season, nine and four. Mm -hmm. Big game coming up. They have an extended period to prepare for the Philadelphia Eagles. It's all about division right now. Yeah. And after losing that Thanksgiving Day game, they really want a little payback. Yeah, yeah. When you look at it, Dallas has uh, more to, to play for than Philly. If you ask me for the simple fact that Philadelphia came into Dallas and embarrassed Dallas. So hopefully they'll feel like, hey, we, we, we owe it to these guys. And of course, the division is on the line, but more so the plan for the fact that revenge, if you will. Now, yeah, we want to make the playoffs and all that kind of stuff, but somewhere deep inside, you know, that manhood got stepped on when Philadelphia came into Dallas in our backyard and kicked us around. Let's go back a little bit to kind of the college days and you guys coming out of North Carolina, coming mm -hmm. out of the Air Force Academy. I always wondered how different lifestyles of a, of a Tar Heel versus an Air Force Academy guy. I mean, it must be totally different uh, type of scenarios in the college situation. Yeah, I was was spent on the ground. He was in the air, so <laughs> I'm going to let you take it from there. <laughs> no, I, the purpose of, of attending a service academy was first and foremost to, to motivate us to be career officers in the Air Force, to be leaders of character, to eventually, you know, for me it was to fly jets. Mm -hmm. So playing football was a part of that experience of both uh, living out the four different pillars of, that the Air Force Academy professes, you know, the physical aspect, the mental aspect, the, the character aspect, and, and then the military aspect of all those things. So it was just part of our training. And, um, but I was very fortunate to played on some great teams there and had a lot of great teammates and had you know some decent success as an individual playing mm -hmm. that allowed me the opportunity to do both, to fly jets and then ultimately come play for the Dallas Cowboys. Aren't you a little big to be flying jets? I, mean, I am how do you fit over in that the cockpit? size. I had to receive waivers for both my height and weight. I was too tall and too heavy to fly. You know, oh. just one quick story for you folks in the audience as well as the TV audience that <clears throat> when I was flying the initial jet trainer, uh, the t it was formerly the T-37 aircraft. Uh, the wing flight surgeon at the base where I was going through pilot training came up to me and says, we had to actually go back and check design specifications of the ejection seat. We're not sure if you clear the tail if you ever had to eject out of the aircraft. Wow. Oh, boy. So I was like, you, you got to be kidding me, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> no, but you, you signed that waiver. We got you. <laughs> no, that was it. But when you're, when you're 23, 24 years old, you don't think about the what ifs. It was an opportunity to to fly high performance jets and to serve my country. So it, it was a lot of fun. So you, but you probably, yes, that's, that deserves applause. 
During that time, though, as you're you know, matric matriculating through the Air Force Academy, how much were you thinking about NFL, being an NFL player, mm. versus you were a top round pick? Yeah. I mean, you, you know, was that a, a goal of yours or just no. kind of? Happened? No, I never really knew I would even had uh, an opportunity. Well, I never had an opportunity. I never had an inkling to even play in the NFL until I won the Outland Trophy, until I, you know, started making these different All-American teams and, and having success in the different senior bowls. And I thought, well, maybe I couldn't compete at that level. Now, when yeah. you were in college and playing mm -hmm. football, if, if that didn't happen, Okay. If the NFL didn't happen, mm -hmm. what was your plan? Or did you, even, did you have a plan B? Well, um, I like helping people. So I was going to do something involved with working with kids and helping people out. Um, I, I, I didn't have to explore that a whole lot. Um, I was a communication major, so the stuff that I do now involves communication. Mm -hmm. um, but as a junior, you know, I was pretty much, they told me, you know, if you enter in the draft, you'll, you'll get drafted this year. So... Um, it was, you know, kind of laid out for me. So you're both in the communications business after college, after football, after the military as well. Talk a little bit about what you're doing now. You want to go, Jay? Go ahead. Okay. For me, uh, we produce this show, we film this show, and we do other stuff like this. Um, I have a studio, and um, people rent it out to, to shoot film commercials. Uh, we uh, finished, we're not finished, but we're working on a uh, movie right now called Carter High, the movie. Uh, we're doing that back in 1988. Carter had a really talented football team that got into some trouble, and so we captured that. And um, currently right now, it's the season, um, Christmas season, and we're hosting a what we call the Now Christmas program. And basically, we want to allow kids to come in. They're going to see Santa Claus, and they're going to be able to also learn in the form of a play kind of the real meaning behind Christmas. Hmm. So we want people to come and support that. They can go to the website, um, Play Now Enterprise, click on event or click on information, and you'll find out more information about what we're doing for the Christmas program. Fantastic. Yep. That's good stuff. All right, when we come back here inside the huddle, we'll actually delve a little bit more into this because I, I think it's kind of interesting, so stick around. All you Dallas Cowboy fans, this is Inside the Huddle. We are a sponsor for Inside the Huddle. We're really excited to be here. Come to the House of Blues and get Inside the Huddle. We started sponsoring Inside the Huddle because of another business colleague that told us what a wonderful event it was. We are just looking forward to networking and we love being in Dallas and at the House of Blues. We're excited to be here. Being a part of the Cowboys and the energy that comes with that, you know, we get to get on a different level with different clients and it's just a great time here. The network is unbelievable. There's people everywhere. We're hoping to build our business. We're hoping to support other businesses as well by providing referrals and also accepting referrals. We got involved last year and had such a great time. We wanted to try and do it again. I enjoy coming down here every week for the filming and watching the Cowboys every Sunday. You need to get down here to the House of Blues and get inside the huddle. You find here a casual atmosphere. Over the years, I've found many contacts to bring to my real estate business. Come to the House of Blues and get inside the huddle. We're one of the sponsors here. And we're looking forward to dressing the Dallas Cowboys this year, along with many others. So Inside the Huddle has really helped us grow our business because not just the sponsors that are in the room that we get to talk with and network with, but also getting visible within the community and the greater Dallas area so that people really get to know the name. It's a great group and a great crowd, and the people are so incredibly welcoming and enthusiastic about the networking events. I'm excited to meet some new people and to network and see what, what this night has to offer. Come to the House of Blues and get inside the huddle. Being it's, it's the Christmas season here in December at the House of Blues, there are a lot of events going on. Uh, first, you can bring any new and unwrapped toy in Crossroad, into Crossroads at House of Blues Dallas or the House of Blues gear shop and receive 15% off your bill. The toys are being donated to Santa's helpers. Also, join us for a gospel brunch on Sunday, December 14th. Two shows at 11 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. Purchase tickets online at www.houseofblues.com slash Dallas. And have you made your New Year's Eve plans yet? I haven't quite 
work that out. I'm, I'm working on it. House of Blues, his spoon in the music hall, the after party band on the crossroads stage, and burning sky band in the foundation room. Dinner packages are available. Purchase tickets and dinner packages online at www.houseofblues.com slash Dallas. All right, we were talking about some stuff, talking about business, talking about things after college, after pro football, uh, but I wanted to ask you, Chad, about your draft experience announcing for one of our co-hosts, Tyrone Crawford. That's right. Well, a couple years ago when uh, Tyrone was drafted in 2012, I was asked to be the representative to represent the Dallas Cowboys to go to Radio City Music Hall in New York City to announce whoever the Cowboys were going to draft that particular time. Well, we were out there uh, with all the different alumni from the different teams watching the first round draft selections. This was the time, if you guys recall, that the Cowboys traded away their first round draft selection. They traded down, but when they, Roger Goodell got up and announced, he just said Dallas Cowboys. It was like, boo, boo, <laughs> because the majority of the fans that were there were those Eagle fans, those <laughs> Redskin fans, and those New York Giant fans. So I was a little apprehensive what type of reception I was going to get when I would go out there to make the announcement. Well, when they made the introduction for me, they announced, you know, Chad Hennings, former defensive tackle for the Dallas Cowboys, three-time Super Bowl champion, but they also added former Gulf War veteran, fighter pilot, Air Force Academy graduate. And as I walked out there, it was kind of a polite golf clap. <laughs> I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. But when I went out to the podium, I thought, I, you know, I, I can't let these guys off the hook that easy. So when I made the draft selection announcement, I said something along the lines for the 82nd pick in the 2012 draft. I kind of paused and I said, America's team. <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys select Tyrone Crawford from Boise State. And it just went boo. And I walked <laughs> off the stage and just waved. And <laughs> so I got my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. Now, now, Greg, you're just coming back off the road. Uh, went yep. back to North Carolina, got a, got a nice little award. Yep, yep. The, um, every year the ACC conference honors a guy who played in that conference from, from each school, and um, I was the guy they selected to be honored as the ACC legend. And so we went and showed up, but well, thank you. We um, were, were introduced at the pregame of the ACC championship game. And um, it, was, it was a lot of fun, you know, it was very honoring and humbling that they would remember me and pick me out of all those football players, but I'm sure appreciative of it. Fantastic, yep. good stuff. We were talking during the break that there are a lot of kids all around the country, all around yeah. the world, but right here in North Texas that don't have their basic needs met, and you're working with an organization uh, during the holiday season to try to help that. Well, one of the organizations of the different charities, one of the different charities that I help with is the North Texas Food Bank. And one of the events that we put on through the NFL is called Taste of the NFL every year. And that's usually in the spring of the year, April, May time frame. And it's just one of those things where you're raising awareness, raising money for the North Texas Food Bank. But I was astonished at the number of kids that go to school hungry every, you know, every day. You know, they have the school lunch programs, school breakfast programs. But what do these kids do when it's holiday time or, or the summertime where they don't have these federally mm -hmm. subsidized programs, who feeds the kids? And I think that's where the North Texas Food Bank really steps up, as well as their 300 plus different affiliates in this North Texas region, that they do a really good job of doing that, of meeting the basic needs of not only children, but, but senior citizens of our veterans that come back that have mm -hmm. not transitioned well back into the job force, and, or just people in general who are, are you know, down and yeah. out yeah. that haven't had that opportunity to uh, find employment or they're underemployed or whatnot, that they just need to have their basic needs met. And the North Texas Food Bank has done a phenomenal job over the past several years and is continuing to do that. So that was one organization that I'd really like to highlight this evening for those of you to support either through donations of food or your time, talent, or your treasure. Fantastic. We have to move on as well. We've got yeah. to thank Chad Hennings for joining us for the first few blocks. And when we come back, we'll have one of our very important sponsors join us here inside the hub. What if you could fly without a plane? What if you could fly without wings? What if you could fly without a parachute? 
without strings attached. Or even a cape. What if is here? Every age, every ability. I fly indoor skydiving. Fun every time. Experience amazing beach escapes with Apple Vacations. Mexico, the Caribbean, and more. Now is the hottest time for travel, so reserve your place in the sun before all the best flights and hotels are gone. With Apple Vacations, you can catch some rays on the world's best beaches for far less than you think. Hurry, best hotels and dates are going fast. Not many investments offer the immediate value and enjoyment that you get from a successful home improvement project. Some projects are fine for DIY, but if you're looking to replace siding or windows on your home, call the professionals at Allied Siding and Windows. At Allied Siding and Windows, you can get brand name energy efficient replacement windows from Simonton and keep your house looking beautiful with James Hardy, Hardy Plank Siding. Call now for 100% financing for 12 months with no interest. 972-888-9988. Serving Texas for over 25 years. 972-888-9988. Rooting for your favorite team. Enjoying your tailgate party. Perhaps just meeting new people. Having fun. Even enjoying a dance or two before the game. Now these ladies are having a diva moment. Brought to you by Diva Tequila. A Dale Bravo Company. Welcome back inside the huddle here at the House of Blues. Chris O'Connor joining us now from one, uh, A1 Affordable Garage Door Service. And, uh, you know, it was funny because I was checking out some of the information on your company. And you're kind of the garage door service to the stars, if you will, I mean, including Tony Dorsett. I know. Isn't that awesome? We had a great time going to Tony's house and getting his garage door all working properly. Now, was it... You had to replace it or you just give them a... No, it just needed a big tune-up and a few extra parts put on it just to make it run smoothly. Now, uh, you guys, this is not like going to Lowe's. This is, this is some real deal fancy stuff. Well, I don't know how fancy it is, but our guys are certainly trained. We don't use any kind of subcontractors, so they know the functions of a garage door. They know how to operate it, how to install it, how to install openers. So it's, it's not somebody out of, working out of the back of their truck. Which is a very good point. I was going to mention that you guys have a very high rating with the Better Business Bureau because there's a lot of companies out there that can't claim that. Right. We're very proud of the fact that we have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Um, we work really hard. We really focus on our customers. Our customers are very important to us, making them happy, showing up on time, don't make them sit there and wait for two to four hours, so on and so forth. And a lot of people think like garage doors is is no big deal, but it, it's actually, you know, it's a very functional, it's, it's hard to do yourself. You certainly wouldn't want to try to trust it to yourself to do. We highly don't recommend it. It's the <laughs> largest moving wall in the home. And, you That's know, we good. get called all the time. There are some guys who think they can fix it, especially <laughs> when a roller pops out. And so they try popping it back in. And then the other side, the roller pops out. And one night, it was Saturday, probably about 5 o'clock, he finally called and he said, when the door hit me in the head, it was time to call a professional. <laughs> I was going to ask you, how many people did you have to go fix their work? Uh, all the time. <laughs> all the time. That's great. Now, there's something I thought was kind of cool, because, you know, I just have a little clicker thing for my garage door, but mm -hmm. you can do it on a phone? Yeah, a LiftMaster, the Model 8550, it's a 2.0 technology. You can um, add what they call the internet gateway to your router at home mm. and uh, download the app for your smartphone. And so you can actually operate your garage door from anywhere in the world through your wow. smartphone. There is an app for that, huh? There is an yeah. app for that, wow, that's yes. That's great. Is that something that you would use? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's a very useful tool. Um, I need to talk to you because we probably can use what do need some of those services ourselves. So, yeah, I didn't know that even exists. So it, It's relatively new on the market, really? and it's really just starting to take hold. Okay. Um, the benefit is, is it allows you to get text messages or email messages when your garage door opens because I'm sure oh. all of us at one point has driven away from our house saying, 
Did I shut the garage door? Every day. And yeah. how many of you have turned around and come back? I know I have, uh, yeah. and I'm even in the industry. Yeah. So, you know, leaving your garage door open is really not a good thing. What about when the power is out in your home? Good question. Can the garage door, you got that, something for that? Yes. Is there an app for that? Well, not necessarily an <laughs> app, but that same LiftMaster 8550 comes with a battery backup. Okay. So if you lose power, you still can push your remote button, your door is going to open or it's going to close. You never get trapped in or trapped out of the garage. Wow, that's, that's good. the worst. That's yeah. the worst when the power's out and you're I know it. and you know the garage is down and you've got to go somewhere and it's raining outside. Oh man. And you're pulling up. I've been there before. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> it's no fun. Yeah, yeah, it's no fun. And it's not only I, I imagine uh, garage doors aren't just functional. Some people like them fancy and you mm -hmm. know, different colors. You, I mean, do you guys handle that kind of stuff? Yes, uh, custom cedar wood garage doors. Oh. There's uh, carriage house style doors. There's I mean, garage doors have really, really changed over the years, and they've become designer, almost, mm. decorative, mm. windows. I mean, there's a variety of things that you can choose. That mm. is cool. Now, how can people reach you to get a new garage door? Well, they can go to our website at repairgaragedoors.com, or they can give us a call at 972 877 5774. Fantastic. Chris O'Connor from A1 Affordable Garage Door Services. Thank you so much for joining us and being a sponsor on the show because yeah. you all are so important to the success of the show. I really can't say that enough. Yep. So thanks again. Thank now, you. Got to close things out. like to thank uh, Ray Salinas and Chris Vandebenner for putting this whole thing together as producers of the show. Audio engineer Ted Nichols-Payne as well as... Greg Ellis and Play Now Enterprise for the, the video production team that, that makes sure we get a great job every week on this show. So join us next Monday night at the House of Blues here. So until then, I'm Guy Rawlings. Thanks so much for joining us Inside the Huddle. Inside the Huddle has been presented by Sports Media Incorporated. Absolutely edible cakes and catering. Accident and injury chiropractic. Advanced Audio Video, Allied Siding and Windows, Apple Vacations, Armor Wealth Management, Carter Eye Center, DFW Hearing Solutions, and Phonak, d and Credit, Dymaco, Diva Tequila, Garage Works, Gold Crusher, Holden New Homes, iFly, Michelle Lynn Interiors Group, Tequila Panasco, Town Square Financial, Volt Security, and Windrush Homes. Promotional consideration provided by Video production of Inside the Huddle by Play Now Enterprises. Inside the Huddle is a Sports Media Incorporated production. Executive producers Ray Salinas and Chris Vandeventer.